For the first time in history, we're looking at a real image, not a guess, not a simulation, of an alien planet outside our solar system. Uh, we are going to discover incredible things that we never imagined. The James Webb Space Telescope has done something no other telescope has before. It captured a direct picture of a brand new world orbiting another star. And scientists have discovered a brand new exoplanet. They say planet TWA-7b was found orbiting a star 110 light years away from Earth. This isn't a blurry shadow or a dip in light like we've seen before. This is a real planet, far from Earth, seen clearly through Webb's powerful eyes. It's called TWA-7b, and it's sitting in a ring of space dust, glowing gently in the dark. Scientists say it's about the size of Saturn and is still cooling off from the time it was born. And this changes everything, because if Webb can do this once, it can do it again. Which means we're getting closer than ever to spotting smaller planets, maybe even ones like Earth. This isn't just a scientific win. It's a huge step toward answering one of our biggest questions. Are we alone? Stick around, because in this video, we'll break down what this planet is, how Webb found it, and what this discovery could mean for our future in the universe. A new dawn in exoplanet imaging. When the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, captured its first ever direct image of an alien world, TWA-7b, it wasn't just a photo, it was a groundbreaking moment, proof that we can now see planets around other stars, not just in for their existence. Until now, more than 98% of exoplanets were found by observing dips in starlight or wobbles in their host stars. Direct imaging was rare, a technical marvel achieved in only about 2% of known cases. But this milestone changes everything. Stationed a million and a half kilometers from Earth at the L2 point, JWST has an unmatched view, especially in the infrared spectrum. That location keeps it out of Earth's shadow and thermal noise, while its infrared eyes can detect the heat coming from young, distant planets. That's exactly how TWA-7b was spotted, a glowing dot in a dusty disk emerging from a sea of infrared light. And why does this matter? Because direct imaging gives us a richer, more tangible grasp on these distant worlds. We're no longer guessing at their properties. We're actually seeing them. This isn't just a scientific tick on a checklist. It's as if we've stepped through a new door, no longer limited to shadows, but seeing the world in daylight. JWST's ability to capture TWA-7b in infrared sets a new standard. We're talking about a leap from inference to image, from probability to proof. And this is just the beginning. If Webb can do this with one planet, soon it could be doing the same with many more, potentially even Earth-like ones. Meet the new alien. TWA-7b. Let's take a closer look at this newly spotted alien world. TWA-7b is no Earth twin. It's a Saturn-mass gas giant, orbiting a star barely six million years old. That makes it a newborn by cosmic standards. The star, TWA-7, belongs to a loose group of young stars, meaning the planet hasn't had time to cool and fade. Instead, it still glows hot and bright in the infrared range making it visible to Webb's instruments. Located about 110 light years away in the southern sky, constellation Antlia, TWA-7b lies roughly 52 astronomical units from its star that's five times farther from its sun than Neptune is from ours. This places it in the outer fringes, with an orbit lasting several decades. It's not just the distance that makes it interesting. It's what it tells us about the planet's origins. Before Webb imaged it, astronomers had spotted gaps in the star's dusty disk, areas that hinted a planet might be carving its path. But those were just hints. Now, we've got the planet itself, confirming speculation and highlighting how planetary systems can form far from their stars. What's more, TWA-7b is still cooling off from its birth heat, glowing warm in infrared, but invisible in normal light. This isn't an old, faded world. It's fresh, hot, and evolving. Seeing such a young, Saturn-weak planet in mid-infrared gives us a rare window into planetary formation, 
How quickly did it grow? What materials is it made of? How does it clear debris around it? This discovery doesn't just add another planet to the list. It tells a story of birth and growth in planet making. And it reminds us that our own cosmic neighborhood may have looked similar once. Dusty, busy, and full of possibility. How JWST made the moment possible. Imagine trying to spot a tiny glow next to a floodlight. That's what finding a planet next to its star is like. JWST made it possible through clever tools and teamwork. Inside its mid-infrared instrument, Emirai, it has a coronagraph, a special mask built by French engineers. This mask acts like an artificial eclipse, blocking the star's brightness so that fainter objects nearby can be seen. Infrared light became Webb's superpower here. Young planets like TWA-7b are still cooling down, so they glow in mid-infrared wavelengths. Earthbound telescopes see the star's light and dust, but in infrared, the planet stands out as its own warm spot. That's why JWST, with its cooled mirrors and infrared design, could pick it up where older telescopes could not. But JWST didn't work alone. Ground-based telescopes like the Very Large Telescope, VLT, used instruments like Sphere to find shadows and gaps in the disk around TWA-7. Those gaps hinted at planets. Webb followed up by imaging the system directly, confirming that the planet carving the gap really existed. By using both datasets, scientists painted a complete picture of the disk, its rings, and the planet at work within them. Finally, the orientation played a role. We view this system almost face on, meaning the disk is turned toward us like a pancake, not edge on. That gave Webb an unusually clear view of the planet's position inside the gap. No sneaky viewing angles obscured it. JWST got a straight on shot, making the discovery cleaner and easier to interpret. All this effort, masking the star, using infrared, combining ground and space data, and taking advantage of the system's orientation, created the perfect conditions. Thanks to these factors working together, JWST didn't just spot another exoplanet. It documented a planet in the act of forming, a scientific first of its kind moment captured in detail. What the discovery teaches us. Think of TWA-7b as both a puzzle piece and a roadmap. It confirms what astronomers have long believed. Big planets carve out gaps and dusty disks around young stars. But now, we're no longer guessing, we're seeing it in action. This gives us real proof that planet formation leaves visible signatures in the debris around a star. You rarely catch such young systems in the act. At just six million years old, this planet is still glowing from leftover heat. That's such a fleeting stage in cosmic terms. It only lasts a few million years. But with JWST's sensitivity, we finally get to see planetary birth happening in real time, using data rather than relying on old statistics. At about 100 Earth masses, Saturn's mass, this is the lightest planet ever directly imaged. All previous images were of heavier giants. That matters because it proves we can now see smaller, more realistic planets. If Webb can do this with Saturn-scale worlds, next we might detect Neptune mass or even Earth mass planets in similar systems. And this tells us something about the variety of planetary systems. Most of the exoplanets we know are close to their stars, hot giants, super-Earths, rocky planets. But TWA-7b is a cold giant far from its star. That means planetary systems can form a wide range of planet types and architectures. Some like ours, others very different. In short, this discovery adds a whole new chapter. We're not just cataloging planets, we're understanding how they form, where they form, and what kind of systems emerge. JWST is letting us watch planet building happen under our cosmic microscope. Next steps, atmospheric exploration. The excitement doesn't stop at finding TWA-7b. It's just the beginning. Up next is studying its atmosphere. JWST's instruments, MIRI and NIRSPEC, can analyze the planet's light spectrum for chemicals like methane, water vapor, or carbon monoxide. Each detection tells us more about how the planet formed and what conditions it has. Understanding its temperature and weather is also crucial. Infrared spectra can show temperature variations across the planet's surface and help infer wind patterns or cloud presence. 
These details help us understand whether it's cooling uniformly or showing signs of atmospheric dynamics. Comparing TWA-7b to other nearby young planets like HIP-6, 54, 2, 6b, and HR 8799's lineup will paint a bigger picture of how gas giants evolve. Do all gas giants form quickly and glow hot early on, or do some build over longer periods? These comparisons help astronomers piece together the range of possible outcomes in planet formation. The discovery also sharpens our models of planetary diversity. We no longer need to guess the distribution of planet types and orbits. We have concrete examples. Every atmosphere studied brings us closer to knowing if Earth-like planets with biosignatures are rare or common. Ultimately, these follow-up studies will pave the way for future telescope missions aimed at potentially habitable worlds. But for now, TWA-7b is our test case, a prototype for studying young gas giants, their atmospheres, and the processes that shape them. And that knowledge is priceless for the chapter ahead, the search for life. Why this feels like watching birth. Picture yourself peering into a cosmic maternity ward, stars giving life to new worlds. That's why JWST's image of TWA-7b is so compelling. It's not just a discovery, it's a live performance of planetary birth. First, the planet glows with heat from formation. It's still settling its core, swirling with leftover energy. Being young, just six million years old, it's like a newborn still incubating in parental warmth. This glow tells astronomers how long and how fast these planets form, a clue scientists have long chased through theory and indirect data. Second, the planet sits in a clear gap within the disk of gas and dust. Think of the disk like a flat, rotating pizza with holes made by kneading fingers. T, W, A, 7B is the grand kneading finger. Its gravitational pull has cleared the gap, acting like cosmic handprints in the dough. What makes this emotional is seeing the cause and effect, planet and disk, live together. It makes the building of worlds feel beautifully real. Third, the glowing planet tells a story about how disks evolve. Dust clumps into pebbles, pebbles into mountain-sized bodies, and those into full-fledged planets. Now, seeing a planet in the early stages offers a chance to measure dust density, speed of accretion, and disk lifespan. All of this matters because it helps answer how common are solar systems like ours, with rocky inner worlds and gas giants further out. Finally, this discovery acts like a proof of concept for future work. If JWST can see this planet mid-formation, we might eventually watch super-Earths and water-rich worlds forming maybe even atmospheres turning breathable. Imagine literally seeing a planet's first breaths. It turns cosmology into cinema, and we're just starting to watch. TDA-7b is no longer a distant dot. It's a newborn under mid-infrared spotlight. With this as our stage, planet formation becomes not a dry diagram, but a live unfolding story. And that kind of story is how humans fall in love with science linking to past discoveries. TWA 7b fits into a larger storyline of humanity's search for other worlds, one jam-packed with clues, tools, and clues of clues. It began with Kepler's transit discoveries, tiny dips in starlight hinting at unseen planets. That taught us planets are everywhere, but only let us see their shadows, not their faces. Then came Hubble and ground-based observatories using coronagraphs to capture the first blurry images of giant, hot exoplanets. Those were novelties, still massive and rare. Then came HIP-6-5426b in 2022, the first planet directly imaged by JWST at mid-infrared. But it was massive, about several times Jupiter's mass, UA. And 7b brings us fully into a new class, a Saturn-mass planet. That's a leap forward, smaller, colder, more common. If HIP 65426b was a titan seen from afar, TWA 7b is a child of everyday solar systems. Ground-based telescopes played their part too. The very large telescope sphere spotted structure and rings around systems like HR 8799. These disks often held shadows or gaps hinting at hidden planets. Webb's image finally confirmed that the ghosts in the gaps are, in fact, real planets. Weaving all this together, Kepler sharpened our map of planet occurrence. Hubble and VLT built the toolbox to find disks and protoplanets. JWST has used those tools to capture direct footage of a planet forming. Each step built on what came before, 
guiding us from guesses to glimmers to direct observation. TWA 7b isn't just another planet, it's the next chapter in a story that began half a century ago, with human curiosity and the drive to see beyond our own skies. Could there be other life harboring planets? TWA. 7b itself can't support life. It's a gas giant like Saturn, with no solid surface. But that doesn't mean the system is lifeless. In fact, this discovery gives us hope that smaller rocky planets may be nearby, still hidden in the disk's dust and gas. Why? Because planets rarely form alone. If there's one, chances are there are more. Possibly Earth-sized ones tucked closer to the star, or icy moons orbiting TWA 7b, like Europa or Enceladus around Jupiter. These moons could have subsurface oceans, protected by thick ice and warmed by the gas giant's gravity. This discovery also helps scientists think beyond the solar system. If planets can form in these distant orbits and stay stable for millions of years, then life-friendly environments may be more common than we thought. This is where Proxima b comes into the picture, a rocky world orbiting the closest star to our own. While TWA 7b is too far to host life, the same imaging tools could soon capture Earth-like planets near stars like Proxima Centauri. Plus, Webb's technology gives scientists a way to analyze atmospheres. By measuring light that passes through a planet's atmosphere, we can detect gases like water vapor, methane, or oxygen, potential signs of life. This is how TWA 7b changes the game. By proving we can directly see planets smaller than Jupiter, it opens a path to finding more Earth-like ones. It's not a discovery of life, but it's a solid step closer. What the public is saying. The reaction to TWA 7b's discovery has been electric. Scientists are calling it a breakthrough. Astronomers who've worked for decades on planetary formation finally have a crystal clear image to validate their models. One of the mission leads even said, we're watching a planet in its infancy. It's hard not to feel that excitement. News outlets jumped on it too. Headlines across the world highlighted how this is the lightest planet ever directly seen by a telescope. Social media lit up with questions. Is this where aliens live? Is this the beginning of Earth 2.0? While those are fun to imagine, what's more important is that the public feels connected to this kind of discovery. And there's a sense of wonder in the air. People are dreaming again about the cosmos, not in distant terms, but in real, observable ways. Planet baby memes, animated simulations of TWA 7b forming rings, and fan art of hypothetical moons filled the internet. It's a reminder of what space science does best. It brings people together through awe. Even those who've never looked through a telescope now see the stars as reachable, observable, and filled with possibility. What comes next and why it matters. This isn't the end of the story, it's just the beginning. The James Webb Space Telescope will keep watching TWA 7b in the months and years ahead. By capturing more images over time, scientists can chart its orbit precisely, figure out how fast it's moving, and see how the disk around it evolves. This helps build a real-time movie of how planetary systems change. Next, Webb's team plans to study the planet's atmosphere using deep infrared scans. They want to know what it's made of, what chemicals float in its skies, how hot it is, and if storms or clouds exist there. This could tell us how young planets behave in their early years. Beyond TWA 7b, the discovery also supports new missions already being planned. NASA's Habitable Worlds Observatory and the European Extremely Large Telescope, EELT, are being designed to find and directly image Earth-like planets. This success gives them the blueprint. The big takeaway? We've shifted from guessing to seeing. For the first time, we're not just thinking about planets beyond our solar system. We're watching them grow. That changes everything. It's a new chapter for astronomy, for planetary science, and for humanity's place in the universe. And it all started with a distant glow in a dusty ring, brought into focus by a telescope built to see what no one else ever could. If you enjoyed this journey beyond our solar system, hit subscribe for more deep space discoveries, because this is just the beginning of what Webb will reveal.